Sonic. Lab. TV. Hello and welcome to another look at uh, some of the modular synthesis modules that are available on the market. We've got ours here um, housed in the Mono Rocket Mission 6B case in lovely Harvestman Orange. And today we're looking at something by Pittsburgh Modular. There's a few modules. They're a small manufacturer based in the US. Their stuff looks a bit like kind of 1950s sci-fi laboratory. It's very sort of quirky. Like it myself. Um, so today we're looking at the oscillator, the generator, out, which is like a, a, an output module, and the audio mixer and attenuator. So I pop them all in my rack here. They sent me uh, a blanking panel so I could just uh, delineate it. As you can see, I've still got it rather dangerously set up. I need some more panels to fill it, fill it up so I don't electrocute myself. So first up, we're going to take a look at the oscillator module. That's here, this one here with the large knob on it. Oscillator being uh, the kind of waveform, the building block, the thing that makes the noise. Uh, obviously, we need to control it. We take a control voltage which affects the pitch from my dope for MIDI to CV, MIDI to control voltage unit here. Uh, I have to patch it in on this case, even though the uh, Mission 6B case allows me to send these signals across an internal bus, this module doesn't pick it up. So let's start listening to a few waves. We'll start with a sine wave. <laughs> Triangle, saw, a lot more buzzy, and square wave. And we've got this, this control here which allows us to affect the pulse width. Now, uh, we've got coarse pitch control here, fine pitch control, uh, and then there's a frequency modulation which is a modulator which allows us to wobble the pitch if you like and pulse width control here, and then separate outputs for each of, the, of the, the waves. If we just listen to the actual speed, it's an incredibly wide range oscillator, which means not, not only can you use it for um, making sound duties, so an oscillator duties, you can also use it as a low frequency oscillator. So we're gonna take it right down and use the output of this to control other modules. So let's try that now. So I'm gonna take the sine output, sine wave output and plug that into my dope for this module here which is like a single voice in one module. Let me just bring up the dope for. And I can hear I'm using this to modulate the frequency on the dope for. And I can go right up into the audio spectrum and beyond. So very powerful LFO features, and obviously I can use the outputs of any of these uh, other waves to create modulation routings. Uh, one cool feature is also I can take the gate output and I can use it to re-trigger my oscillator wave. So if I go to my uh, sawtooth, you can hear when I press a key, restarts the waveform so it's kind of like having LFO sync if you like. So yeah I like the oscillator I think the waves sound good uh, and not only that but that it's really handy that you can also dual it double it up as an LFO low frequency oscillator and that's something that is really handy because quite often you have to switch waves to get into low frequency mode certainly on the dope for stuff you do but this has just got a great big knob that you can take down there so uh, in the true sense of modular it's a very flexible module uh, dual purpose. Uh, the next thing we're looking at is the generator now this is a dual oscillator periodic waveform generator it's it's a kind of FM madness in fact the manual says uh, it's ideal for Nintendo blip and fart noises are good for abrasive percussive sounds. Let's take a look at it. Right, so here is the unit. It's a slightly wider unit than the oscillator. I mean, it has two identical waveform generators. Now, these are, if I plug it in, you can hear that they go from square through to triangle. I'm controlling it from the keyboard via this uh, external CV in. Uh, it's exponential, but it still seems to be re relatively well suited for pitched kind of lines. Uh, there's also a VCA down here, which uh, if I take the output there and I say take my uh, envelope output from my dofer, I've got access to the to a kind of basic VCA, which gives me kind of 
know, at a basic level, a sort of oscillator. Just gives me some music. It would have been nice to be able to modulate this, uh, the, the shape of the waveform. But unfortunately, you can't seem to do that, but uh, never mind. So, right, the, where it gets really mad, though, is when you start to modulate, cross-modulate, because essentially, generator one will modulate generator two, and it's just absolutely mad. You get some really gnarly and unpleasant... Tones as uh, as we've heard, uh, as it says in the no uh, the manual, sort of blippy, aggressive fart noises. I haven't been able to get the farts quite yet, but uh, but yeah, absolutely crazy stuff. There's also the the possibility to modulate from an external source via this section here. If I plug an LFO in uh, at 12 o'clock, there's zero uh, uh, modulation, and you get positive and negative and you can affect generator one or generator two. So if I just take the out generator. There's some really, really mad stuff again. So here I am looking on the Schneider's Bureau website, uh, which are a Berlin-based uh, modular dealer. Very, very uh, well, world famous, I would say. So here we go. The oscillator is 199 euros, uh, 172 UK pounds. I'm guessing that's around the $200 mark, something like that. And the generator is 220 euros, and that's about 190 UK pounds, uh, including VAT. We've also got... Um, out at 89 euros or seven, about 75 quid and the audio mixer right here which is 75 euros 64 uk pounds so it's going to be around about the 75 80 us dollars 